Happy Monday morning. Boys and girls, do you realize that I only have one more Monday morning video to send to you? One more. That's one more Monday. Because next Monday, the 31st, you guys have it off. It's Memorial Day. So you have a three-day weekend. So everybody gets a three-day weekend in the district. So make note of that. All right. Shire Friars from last week. Congratulations to Alex Fish, Dexter Howe, Peyton Donahue, Brady Bailey, Kenley DeVoe, Alexis. Alexis, sorry, McNinch, Allie Fagnant, Haven Drew, Aliciana Kinney, Alice Netto, and Lila Bell. Those were last week's. And boys and girls, I am looking. We have what? Two more? Two more chances to be nominated for Shire Friar Fridays to be put into that drawing for the Kindle. So good luck. Um, I have a lot to report on. A lot of it's quick stuff. So a lot of housekeeping stuff as we're winding down to the end of the year. Boys and girls, some exciting things are coming down the road for you. Um, we are planning a field day. I know we try to have a field day where we've had a field day with the exception of last year because of COVID. Um, we're going to do a field day. We're going to plan on doing that June 8th, which is a Tuesday. And we are going to have the rain date on the 9th. So for some reason, we look at the weather. It doesn't look too good for the 8th. We're going to plan on having it on the 9th. So we will make sure we make that call the Friday beforehand so you guys can plan accordingly at home over the weekend. and. Get everything planned so you have um, all of your stuff here at school for field day. We'll make sure we'll send notices home with you so you and your parents know what you need to bring for field day. But we have fun. Obviously, some of it will change up because of COVID restrictions, but stay tuned for that. It is exciting news. Also, step up day. We're going to do a step up day on June 1st. Um, second graders are going to Zoom in with our third grade teachers and their staff, um, as we will pass third graders up to fourth grade, fourth grade teachers are planning something for you, and then fourth graders will pass you up, or step you up, I should say, to fifth grade teachers, and they will play in accordingly for you. Fifth graders, you are gonna have um, an event take place late summer um, at the middle school. The middle school will plan that, and they will be in touch with you and your parents when that will happen. So when this is all going down here at Southside, on June 1st, we're gonna have the fifth grade students outside, um, enjoying some time outside with um, some of our staff members that will be supervising you. And that should last probably half hour to 45 minutes tops. Um, we have grade four in the house testing this week. They will be testing tomorrow on Tuesday and on Wednesday, they will do their two NUIA sessions as the other two grade levels have already done that. Um, super excited. We're glad that we have two grades down. We only have one left. Fourth graders, you've got this. Um, try your best. Like I said, it's like a star test. Don't completely like blow it off. Take it seriously. But all we ask is that you guys try your best and give your best efforts. And we have something in the works for a surprise, kind of like a reward for testing that we have available here in the office. We'll wait until fourth graders wrap up their testing and we will deliver those to home rooms for teachers to give out. We will make sure we make um, plans or accommodations to have our remote learners who have tested or whatnot um, to get theirs as well. So a little surprise coming your way. Boys and girls, as we are winding down to the end of the year, June 4th, two more weeks, two weeks to finish up and make sure that you're getting your work completed on time. If you have anything out there that is late, you need to make sure you are getting it in for your teachers because grades are closing and those end of the year grades will be going out that last on report cards, that last week of school. So get ready for that also don't forget to keep reading because our 
Bikes for Books Assembly will happen June 4th, that's a Friday, in the morning at 8.30. That will be uh, by Zoom as well. Your teachers have a Zoom link and an invitation so they can broadcast it and bring it up in your classrooms as I will be doing it live from the gym with our Masons. So keep reading. Um, we're going to have a choice like we normally do. You, have a, you can choose the bike or we'll have a um, Walmart gift card to choose as well. So we'll draw one boy and one girl per grade level. So a boy and a girl from third, a boy and a girl from fourth, a boy and a girl from fifth. And if you choose to opt out of the bike, you can choose the Walmart gift card. But once the Walmart gift card has been chosen, then obviously you have to take the bike. Bike normally comes with a helmet too, which is great. And we talked last week that helmets are important to protect this on top of your shoulders. It's a good thing. Um, so that... That is basically it for um, this Monday morning video. So if you have any questions, make sure you ask your teachers about what we just talked about in this video. They should have um, the details of that. If not, obviously stop in, come see me. And like I said, further details will be released, but we're planning. I think the exciting thing is, is probably what everyone's looking forward to is a field day. I mean, a field day would be a nice way to celebrate. So make sure that you're putting in your best efforts and you're making good choices because during field day, ah, uh, we don't want you to miss part of your field day. And if you're not making good choices and you have work that's not getting done as grades are closing on June 4th, you may be sitting out of part of field day to either serve some time for consequence for not very good choices or incomplete work in trying to get that made up and into your teacher on time before report cards go out. So keep that in mind, very important. So like I said, we don't have much time left. We're still here at school, we still have a job to do. So make sure you're doing it. Other than that, have a good week. I will see you around.